Hi, my name is Jensen from Cloud9, and this is my guide to set in the mid lane. So, set as a champion in solo queue can both be not the best and really good. The thing about Set is, um, he's really weak against certain team comps. There's not really that many specific champions that like counter him that much anymore. He used to have a lot of like hot matchups and stuff, but he's been buffed a lot recently, and he the new mastery synergizes very well with. Uh, with him. Um, so there's not really that many champions that he's bad against. Um, you might struggle later on in the game if you if you play against something like Kale or Lissandra, but even those matchups as a 1v1 are pretty good for him now. But he's a champion that has a lot of snowball potential. So yeah, you just need to be careful though, because he's also a champion where if you fall behind, he's kind of weak. So just play to your strength and Seth should be a really good pick for solo queue. So how you want to play the lane, as I said earlier on, is you just want to try to last hit with your Q without taking too much damage. And honestly, giving up a few CS early, as I said, is not the worst, like level 1 to 2. Because you, you don't want to get poked out of lane, like, that's kind of your weak point. Once you get level 3, you can start, like, harassing the opponent. Um, you just want to, like, try to stay back and get as many CS as possible. If there's opportunities to land your Q on the opponent, you should definitely go for it and avoid, like, hitting the creeps first, so damage, obviously. Yeah, you just want to... Try to harass him, as the lane progresses, you can harass more and more. And yeah, like I said, Sned is kind of a snowball champion, so if you get ahead, just you just honestly want to try to like kill your laner over and over again, and then um, you can also start split pushing um, around like level 8 to 10, somewhere like there. Preferably 11 actually, once you get your level 2 ultimate. That's that's a good way of playing Sned. I think one thing about Sned is he's very underrated, like his team fighting. So don't think like you, you're forced to split push or anything, because if you can team fight you should definitely go for it once you get a few items like two to three items but such synergize is much better if you have like a lot of cc on your team so keep in mind like if you guys have a weaker team comp you just want to look to split, split push as well and in team fights you definitely you definitely want to look to go for the squishy targets and um, set is not really the type of champion that goes for frontline so you just want to primarily go for the ap carries and ad carries but also like distract people in team fights so don't over commit and get yourself killed make make good use of your shadows and yeah just be a diver basically also a thing to keep in mind with set is you don't want to like instantly go in and dive that back line you want to like be careful a bit wait for them to like use some cooldowns and stuff but not wait too long you know for example if you play against something like Alessandra, you don't just want to like instantly dive in because that's just going to get you killed but if you have something like a mercurial or qss and you know your limits then then it's fine to go in but it's unlikely that you can just straight up kill someone like that so you just want to like remember to play it smart in team fights and not dive too hard so there's a few things you can do with set. For example, I think a lot of people don't know is that you can Q then flash on set so that the Q travel time hits faster. A lot of people don't know about this. So you can like, if a target is low or something and they have a flash up, if you Q then flash, it's very hard for them to react to it, for example. And also like, there's a lot of things you can do with your ultimate and your shadows, for example. Like if you ultimate in before you use your spells, you can like throw a W so you can like, Try to hit him with three um, shurikens instead of just two, you know, for more burst. And yeah, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of stuff you can like play around with once you become more experienced with Zed. Like learning how to manage your shadows better. And for runes and Zed, I go nine armor pin in Mox and scaling health in yellows and flat magic resist in blues. And then for Quince, I go um, three flat AD Quince. And also, if you're leaning against an AD as said, you can go for armor runes instead of scaling health per level. You can also go scaling CDR or flat CDR on Gliss instead of the magic resist, but it does make you a lot more vulnerable on lane, and you typically want to win lane on set, so I would just go for the lane dominant build. But then again, if you're leaning against an AD, you can just take scaling or flat CDR on Gliss. And for masteries on set, I go 12, 18, 0. Also, in rare cases, you could go 6, 18, 6, which it's a very defensive build, but typically 12, 18, 0 is the best since you want damage instead and strong lane as well. And I go for the Feast over the Double Edged Sword and Bounty Hunter over Oppressor. Both are kind of fine, but I think this is probably the best to go for. Then I go for the Assassin Mastery instead of Secret Stash, because again, just want to be as dominant on lane as possible and the assassin also helps on minions and stuff which is 
I don't think a lot of people realize, so... I don't know, I just feel like Assassin is better in general, and it also just got buffed recently on the new patch. And everything else is pretty standard, I guess. Um, precision over intelligence as well, because ammo pin helps a lot instead, so I would definitely go for that one. And for skill order for set, you want to max Q and take Q level 1, W level 2, and E level 3. Pretty standard. You can also take E level 2, but that's only if you lane against a melee, then it can be fine. Also, in rare cases, you can take E level 1 if you're against like a melee where you feel like you don't want to, like, where you can't hit the Q, then it can be okay to do, but Q is definitely the most common thing to do. And for the starting item, you always want to go uh, longsword standard and and if you lane against an ap you want to build um more first item generally or actually just go like hex shrinker into yomus and if you lane with an ad you just want to get like yomus first item and for the shoes the boots um typically i started running a lot of uh, what are they called boots of swiftness now since it's very cost efficient and cheap item but you can also go ninja tabai if they have heavy ad or merc Merc threat still, but generally I prefer to go um, go for the boots of swiftness, even if they have a lot of CC, because I like to build QSS like third item or fourth item on side, and then upgrade it as well. So don't really need the tenacity that much. And Death Dance is also a pretty viable buy on set nowadays, um, but I wouldn't go it early. If anything, I'll probably get it last item. Generally, you don't want to go Blood Furster as the last item on set. It's not the worst. But um, on set right now, there's a lot of better options in my opinion. Like I would personally prefer going Mercurial Simula in most situations, or even like getting a Lot Dominic if there's nothing else to buy. But yeah, I mean Blood First is not bad, but generally you'd rather get like a Mercurial Simula in your build. So with the recent addition of the new item Duskblade, um, it's a pretty popular item for set. Though I'm still not 100% sure when to build it, um, I'll probably build it like third item or fourth maybe, because on set there's like so many good items for example. I'll probably go like on set Yumus into like Duskblade or Yumus into like more of my Mordiers into Duskblade into like Black Cleaver or something like that. There's like, I'm still not 100% sure when to build the item, but it's definitely an item that has a lot of good stats that you want for assassins. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.